Well, good morning, my friends. Last night I made a trip over to Amoeba Music after dinner and I found these gems, so I got them. Haven't bought a new record in a while, so I got the new Steve Malkmus album. He was the singer of one of my favorite bands, Pavement. I got the new Super Chunk album, which is Super Chunk, but uh, they also own Merge Records, which was one of my favorite labels growing up. And I got this really awesome Frank Zappa shirt. My guitar wants to kill yo mama. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And this guy's wilder than a turkey today. He's ready to rock. Let's go out and have some fun, Ja. Well, hello, my friends. Hope you guys are having a great day. Well, I'm gonna take Ja out for a walk, go play, and then we are gonna go somewhere today that I have never went. Don't be snooty. All right, let's go somewhere I've never been before. So today will be a first for us all. Well, at least for me. Now the sign above says, can you move a rock that weighs 5.5 tons? And then you're supposed to start pushing this. Are you human or are you a robot? Yeah, this looks like my kind of room. I can already tell. We first walk in and see a platinum thriller record with thriller hands wrapped around it. And it is a course in here for the most Grammy Awards won in a year, Michael Jackson. Eight Grammys in 1984. And we walk in here and we get to see the man. That's a pretty good wax figure of him. Not too bad, not too bad. One of the great outfits too. I always dug this one. And then Madonna's in here for sales over 11 million and the Beatles for most successful group. Now I think you're supposed to stand under there or that used to be a a jukebox is no longer there. That's a little strange. Here is Elvis. And then right here is a fedora of Michael Jackson's with a remembrance. And there's a picture of him receiving his Guinness Award. But the fedora, very cool. Most drum beats in a minute. Johnny Rab. Did it in Orlando. Good job, Johnny Rab. And whose record did he break? His own! Okay, of course, we should just stay away from this one. We should just stay away. We shouldn't look in the holes that say, don't look in here, should we? And then here's Natural World. Houses, homes, and palaces. The largest garden is in Versailles, France. The smallest house is in Quay House, Wales. Interesting. Now what's up with this lady? Why has she got a raincoat on? A, oh it says weird weather. Oh, nice little symbol for weird weather. So each one that you push will give you more facts from the Guinness Book of World Records. And then this is Colossal Structures. That one I believe I recognize. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of a crazy model here. And it says world's tallest monument is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. 630 feet high. Most jumping jacks in 24 hours happened at the White House. So that's what the White House is there for. It says uh, 400 kids on the South Lawn. And then the world's tallest statue is of course the Statue of Liberty. And then over here, this is the largest building by volume is the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building. And then world's longest bridge, the Golden Gate. And then up here, 
what all these are, all these skyscrapers, those are individual skyscrapers, the CNN building, Chrysler building, Empire State, Eiffel Tower, and it tells you how tall they are and when they were constructed. Pretty cool. The Great Pyramid, constructed in 2560 BC. Shall we enter space? What do you think this all means? They've got a lunchbox? And then down here you've got like the national debt, I guess, or <laughs> crazy. First man on the moon. I have never been a doubter that we landed on the moon, but a friend of mine is a complete doubter, always has been, and the one thing that I will actually use to support him on that is I, I've never understood why Neil Armstrong never talked about any of that stuff afterward. He really never did any appearances or anything. Kind of strange. World's largest known meteorite. Wow. Pretty cool. Most visits into space by a tourist. Of course, a Hungarian-born software billionaire. He's been there twice, it says. See, right here, they have a little sign that says, roll a coin to unfold the mystery of the black hole, and yet, like I said, I don't have any coins. I never carry around change. I could have had secrets to the history, to the galaxy history, and yet because I didn't have a penny, I ruined it for myself. Bummer. The human fly. I talked about human flies when I did my Harold Lloyd vlog. Harold Lloyd watched a human fly. Those were guys who used to climb city buildings. And then here we've got the CN Tower. Longest climb on the face of a building. When I saw this, it kind of reminds me of the tightrope walker. The guy who walked across the uh, World Trade Center buildings and stuff. Very cool. And then we've got the Guinness mirror here. And the man who sat on a column for 45 years. Wow. It's quite an accomplishment. Monk St. Simon. There's no way a man could sleep on a wire. There's just no way that a man could sleep on a wire. Oh my gosh, look at this lunatic. He's balancing on four fingers. Whoa! Oh, this guy has the award for being struck by lightning the most. He was a park ranger. Kind of reminds me of the great outdoors. Kind of even looks like the guy in Great Outdoors. Shall we see who the world's most unusual visitor is? Message in a bottle dropped the 9th of June, 1910. Was found 99 years later and 43 days. Wow. That's crazy. It was a science experiment. And then they found it in 1983. Crazy. And there's the message in a bottle. And then up here, we have the longest beard and longest mustache held by, of course, two Scandinavians. Longest beard by a Norwegian. You can see that one wrapping all the way around up here. Do -do 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 and then the mustache going all the way across is by a Swede. Well done, guys. Well done. And then these are all records held by motorbikes, boats, cars, trucks. You can see right there, largest passenger liner, Queen Mary 2. Now, let's check out the amazing humans. 
this is cool. Oh, way cool. So this guy is in the book for March 1975, Mark Gottlieb became the first underwater violin player, gave a submarine rendition of Handel's water music while submerged in Evergreen State College swimming pool in Olympia, Washington. Way cool, dude, way cool. And then here we have the world's most tattooed woman. 95% of her body is tattooed, including her face. I wonder if um, I wonder if the tattoos are accurate. I wonder if they're you know like accurate to exactly what she has. Interesting. And then we've got this lunatic. <laughs> This guy, check this out. Okay, this guy, this guy's in the records for the world's highest shallow dive. So he jumped into 12 inches of water, you can see right there, from 37 feet and 11 inches high into that 12 inches of water. That is madness, man. And he did it on TV, on Guinness Television. Dude, you're out of your gourd. Oh, that's a great way of phrasing it. <laughs> the world's hungriest sword swallower. 27 simultaneous swords. Wow. Holy moly. Yawn, sneezes, and snores. What do you think this is all about? Of course. <laughs> The loudest measured snore. The longest recorded hiccup. Of course. In 1888, a girl aged 15 yawned nonstop for five weeks. Achoo! Now let's see the uh, the firewalker. I'm guessing this is not the guy that uh, went to the Tony Robbins seminar. Five hundred and ninety seven feet he walked on fire. Holy moly. That's got to be mind over matter, doesn't it? There's no way you could just possibly do that. I mean, it's got to be mind over matter. Then this is the world's longest necked woman. 15.75 inch neck. That's got to create some problems. I would guess driving in vehicles would be one of them. And then this is facts or feats. This woman belly danced for 106 hours. Wow. World record jugglers, walking on hands, lion tamers, all kinds of records. World record high kicks. A little something to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for everyone, I guess. <laughs> The oldest man. Look at all the events that they're showing that he would have he would have lived through. Charles Lindbergh, the Great Depression, Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers. It's funny, on a much, much different scale, I, I kind of jokingly say that to my grandpa about like when we were walking around to his house and he's saying, hey Google, turn the lights on, hey Google, do this. I'm like, when you were growing up in the Great Depression, you know, like when, or, like he was, you know, being raised in the early years of when that was happening, like did you ever think that you would see the kind of things that you're seeing now? He's like, no, of course not. <laughs> They had the radio and that was it. And this guy lived from 1865 till 1986. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. They've got a heavy weight here showing his weight. And then over here it says, <laughs> how do you compare? You see that? Oh wow, the world's smallest lady. Here she is. She's almost David the Gnome status. And there she is. Wow. 
Colleen Musters. Born in Holland. Her matured weight varied from seven and a half to nine pounds. She was 24 inches at the time of her death. Wow. I mean, here's my hand next to her for comparison. And then of course, Robert Wadlow, I mean, they should have a section of Hollywood Boulevard named after Robert Wadlow as much as he gets covered here. They've got three statues right here like on the same block that I can think of. Because of course he was the tallest man. That's, that's him compared to the average height of a mailbox. And then the heaviest baby was 22 pounds, eight ounces. This is, <laughs> this is here as the literal interpretation. It says that in uh, 1976, a man decided to literally cut his house in half after his wife decided to divorce him. <laughs> No surprise that the man that will hold the record for most cockroaches eaten would also have fangs, right? And this guy is the oldest barefoot skier, water skier. Now let's work our way up and see what's up here. Animal world? Whoa! Drug sniffing dogs? Yeah, they look like it. They look like they'd be real experts. What happened to that gorilla's head? This is the marine life. Largest blue whale, largest octopus. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, in honor of the most talkative parrot. The oldest cat, um, the tallest dog ever. I love seeing those kind of things. And then here are the farming records. <laughs> With the, the champion egg layer here. And the milkiest cow. Now this is all food, and this, well not all food, but it's records of things you probably don't want to be known for, I would guess, like the world's largest ice cream sandwich, the world's largest pizza pie, uh, most calories consumed, you can see that one in there, world's heaviest smokers, jeez, yeah, that's, that's, those are some kind of weird, weird records to have. Yep, that, yep, that pretty much explains it. Just shovel it in, right? Literally just shovel it in. And this guy ate all of that. Can you believe it? Oh, cool. Barry Bonds, most home runs, I'm sure. Well, here they have most home runs in a career. But I'm, I'm wondering why they have Barry Bonds here. That's a really, really, really lifelike Barry Bonds, too. That really looks like him. Oh, now that's weird because Barry Bonds does have the most career home runs. And here they're giving him credit for only the most home runs in a season. It's kind of strange. Youngest player to play in the NBA, Kobe Bryant. And then over here we have Yao Ming. Famous Chinese and American basketball player. I mean, he's Chinese, but he's, you know, had a great career and will enter the NBA Hall of Fame here, I'm sure. I'm gonna skip this room kind of because this is just like a trivia quiz game kind of thing and that doesn't really translate that well to camera. It does look cool in here though. Oh, here they're showing most dominoes in a spiral and they're, they're letting them off right now. That's crazy. And then this is for speed records. Fastest land car speed, fastest submarines. Then we've got the Guinness Gallery of the Arts. 
Tony, most Tony Awards for a musical is the producers from, uh, that would be, I think the early 2000s, because, that, yeah, 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 it says 2001. I remember when, this, that was actually one of the first things I remember playing here uh, at the Pantages when I moved here. Largest opera house in New York City, the Metropolitan Opera House. What do we got here? Mario. Most ubiquitous video game character. Mario has appeared in the most video games with 202 distinct titles. Interesting. These are all kinds of crazy feats that, you know, they couldn't really put anywhere else. Most books balanced on the head, longest milk bottle, head balancing walk. Uh, what's this guy balancing? Longest time balancing on one foot, milk crate balancing on his chin. That's crazy. World record golf ball stacking. And then this is the largest light bright picture. I loved light brights. I thought that was such a cool concept when I was a kid. Nine feet wide by 14 feet high. Lori Canary created that. You can stick your head behind there for a photo op, obviously. And then this is the most expensive wardrobe award for Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra. That's what this is right here. That whole movie was just a, that was just, that was a disaster in many, many ways. The Oscars. Oh, wow, I almost missed this, but I'm glad I didn't. Do you see what this is? This has all the prices for things that were paid in Hollywood, so check this out. The sign was $21,000. Sunset Strip, 3,000. This most generation of screen actors in a family. The Red Graves. Absolutely. Longest list of names thanked by an Oscar winner, Olivia de Havilland. Largest Hollywood home, The Manor. Owned by the Spelling family. World's tallest snowman. And now let's head downstairs. Almost down the yellow brick road. Oh, that's a bust of Bob Hope. And what he's honored for here is, it says, the most honored entertainer. That's very cool. I love Bob Hope. Now this is here because it says uh, the most destructive chase sequence in a film was 1982's The Junk Man. Longest leap in a car is what that's for. And then Stuntman is a star, Richard Talmadge. That's memorabilia from Richard Talmadge. Oh my gosh, the tallest dog. Look at him sitting there with his owner. Most versatile screen actor award goes to Robert Duvall. I actually would not have guessed that. You know who I kind of would have thought of first would have been, uh, well I guess you could have said Lon Chaney, but I would have actually thought of like Donald Sutherland because he always has really, really peculiar characters. And this, this is Fred Astaire, it says, can't act, can't sing, can dance a little, because he and Sid Charisse had the $10,000 legs. Now this is kind of strange. This is in honor of Henry McGrew, literally the man most electrocuted. 340,000 volts, he received the shock of his life when making contact with a high tension wire in Huntington Canyon, Utah in 1977. Well, good for you, Henry. I'm assuming that he must have lived or he wouldn't have gotten the award, so. You know, like I said earlier, somebody has to win these, somebody has to do it first. And then in honor of music for films, Mr. Charlie Chaplin, who did indeed write many of the theme songs and the scores for his movies. There's the Space Needle. It looks like we have come to an end. 
few little odds and ends facts over here, but I did enjoy this place. I did enjoy this quite a bit, actually. If you wonder why I like to go to Europe, probably because everybody does. Most visited tourist region, Europe. And who are the biggest tourist spenders? Americans. Can't beat us in that one. And least populated country, Vatican City. And so, if you're having trouble finding a mate, maybe you should look at this. Largest shortage of men, well, maybe the men should go there. And largest shortage of women, I guess the women should go there. Probably have a good chance of finding somebody. I'll keep that in mind someday if I have to. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Good times, good, good times. I enjoyed myself. See, that's the third Robert Wadlow. There's one at Ripley's, one inside the Guinness, and then one outside the Guinness. Should I start to worry about myself when I start enjoying some of these tourist trap attractions? And what exactly did you guys think of the Guinness Book of World Records Museum? Well, good evening, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed the museum today. I want to thank Teresa Isaac, Kelly Meredith, and Anne Marie Robertson, as well as Scotty Burnett, Vianney Frias, and Bridget Doer for making contributions to my channel. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the fact that so many of you find my daily life and the places that I want to go every day worth watching. So thank you very much for going along with the ride and letting me do my thing. Have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.